Greetings everybody, it's Red Hunter. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Relearn Civilization 5. This time we're playing with a random civilization on a random map on Prince because that's the difficulty we're on right now. That's normal difficulty, so no no advantages or disadvantages for either us or the AI. We're playing on a standard game pace because I like the standard game pace. And we have uh, no start bias and a new random seed, which means each time the game is loaded, the number of seed is regenerated. Anyway, we don't know who we're playing, if or what map we're playing on. If we get a really awful, like, unworkable start, or we get a civilization that I played on camera before, I'll restart. Otherwise, sticking with it. So let's get going. Let's find out who we are. Hail, mighty Bismarck, first chancellor of Germany and her empire. Germany is an upstart nation, fashioned from the ruins of the Holy Roman Empire and finally unified in 1871, a little more than a century ago. The German people have proven themselves to be creative, industrious, and ferocious warriors. Despite enduring great catastrophe in the first half of the 20th century, Germany remains a worldwide economic, artistic, and technological leader. Great Prince of Bismarck, the German people look to you to lead them to greater days of glory. Their determination is strong, and they turn to you, their beloved Iron Chancellor, to guide them once more. Will you rule and conquer through blood and iron, or foster the Germanic arts and industry? Can you build a civilization that will stand the test of time? Okay, so this is a little ironic. So, um, I also, as you saw, I had Raging Barbarians on. Pretty sure anyway I put Raging Barbarians on because we haven't played with that setting yet. Anyway, upon defe defeating a Barbarian unit inside your camp uh, encampment, inside an encampment, there's a 67% chance you earn 25 gold and they join your side. A 25% less for land unit maintenance. That's awesome. The Panzer is a tank replacement and it moves faster. Um, and then this thing is incredible. This is um, it's a bank replacement. It gets plus five production for each trade route your civilization has of city state. In other words, they're gonna be great friends of city states. Trade routes other players make to a city. If the hands will generate one extra gold for the city owner and one trade out owner gains an additional gain. So when they trade with us, we each get an additional gold. When we trade with cities, um, we get five part, uh, five plus production in that city for each trade. In other words, we can build super. Uh, production focused uh, cities through trade routes you know like I know you're thinking you're thinking like please don't be on a frat are we always gonna ever forever be on fractal maps when we do random map choices is it yeah I I'm gonna settle here just because we've got a river within two spots of a mountain well, on the coast, but this is not a great city. I am not happy with this start. Let's start with a monument. Um, we're going to go our usual uh, potter in the writing. We've also got to look at the great lighthouse. I hope I'm just at like the end of a peninsula or something. It looks like I might be at the end of a peninsula, but I hope that this is not an island-based campaign, considering that we have our, our main uh, military unit is Panzers, which is tanks. I mean, this is pretty bad. Um, this random map... Sh sh this random map stuff has to go. I mean, we got, we've got lots and lots and lots and lots of copper. This is an this is an island. Damn it! We're starting on an island. That means can we see our map type? Hold on. Archipelago. Ugh. We 
explore game options. You know what? We're going to go ahead and retire. This is not a exit the main menu. You know what though, just to just to show you, we're gonna want to set up the game, we're gonna leave everything else on the same, and we're gonna get started. I told you if it was a really bad situation that made no sense, we were gonna restart. Even though I'm loath to give up Germany and the with raging barbarians on. Blessings be upon you, wise and fearsome Chief Pocatello, revered leader of the Shoshone people. As the young chieftain of the Shoshone, you rose to face a wave of encroaching American settlements across the western United States. Forced to defend the Shoshone ancestral lands from a seemingly endless stream of new immigrants, your war band struck fear into those who would claim the sacred lands of your people. After years of strife, you skillfully avoided a direct conflict with the armies of the U.S. government and negotiated a series of treaties in the hopes of establishing a lasting peace for the Shoshone. Most esteemed, Pocatello, your people once again look to you for guidance. Will you conquer your enemies, driving them far from your lands? Or will you seek out peaceful diplomacy and trade? Will you build a civilization that stands the test of time? Okay, I've never played them, I don't think. So, Great Expanse. Founded cities start with additional territory. That's cool. Units receive a combat bonus when fighting in their own territory. That's also cool. Uh, mounted units specializes in quick attacks. May only be built by the... That's cool, I guess. Oh, Pathfinders. Excellent at it, exploring and fearsome in combat. A Shoni unique unit replaces a scout. It possesses a promotion that allows it to choose to benefit when uncovering an ancient ruin. Oh! And we start with a Pathfinder. Um, you know what, to be honest, I'm going to move up one. I mean, that takes me away from the river, but it is within two. This is such a great defensive spot. This is a pretty good defensive spot, too. I can park stuff here. The city's got a lot of production focus. You know what, I am going to settle here. Wow, look at all that territory you start with. Want to do our usual uh, pottery and writing? Yeah, it's just sorry. Archipelago with with uh, with them didn't make any sense. Whoa! You start with that promotion, right? May chose the benefits. Part of the ancestors plus fifteen percent bonus in combat. Okay, that's huge. We're able to defend ourselves like really well. Ah, uh, wow. Um, what do I need right now? Let's. Let's upgrade our unit. I hope we no, actually I'm I'm concerned that we're gonna lose that, so I don't wanna do that. What I wanna do actually is fence the remaining portion uh, portion. Alright, we're gonna reach that uh that other ancient ruins right now. Okay, let's go ahead and uh, let's discover a new technology. 
we've reached animal husbandry. For which we don't have horses, but there's horses right outside our cities. So I'm not that upset. It's a lot of territory, though. All right. They have whales and porcelain. Um, so what, what I want to do is I want to skirt the edge of this city state. No reason to. Um, no reason to upset them. Alright, I don't see an amazing location for Second City yet, but that's fine. Um, let's go here, there's another runes, excellent. Let's go into the runes. Let's go ahead and uh, enhance our culture. Which means that next turn we're going to get to pick up a culture benefit. So, we're going to start with tradition because it's better. In my opinion, also, we take so much land up around our cities that I'm not, con I'm not super concerned about. It's tempting to buy a... Uh, Let's see, what strength are warriors? Warriors are strength 8. So pathfinders are strictly better than warriors early game. And we're still building plenty of food. But I kind of want, I want a faith. I'm going to build a, sh I'm going to do an early shrine. I feel like that's... Is there a barbarian encampment over here? I feel like this would stack really well. I feel like our bonuses would stack really well with faith. Ah, oh, there is a barbarian encampment discovered. Okay. I'm honestly not that worried about it. We're not even going to fight them yet. May adopt policy. We're going to build. That way we can rush early wonders. Well, this scout's way more valuable exploring than it is fighting. My city can defend itself just fine. Now it's units that get. Units that get the bonuses, not the cities. Alright. Um, let's move. Go ahead and go here. Oh, they give me eight faith. Thank you. And the gold. I, I mean, I appreciate the gold as well. Don't get me wrong. He who destroys a good book kills reason itself. Alright. Let's go ahead and head up this way. There's somebody here. And I can shoot at this thing. Alright, let's choose our research. What do we need? We need masonry. Masonry and... Uh, 
So let's do, let's open a technology tree. Let's go calendar. Into masonry. And the bronze working. Into archery. And we'll stop there. We'll see how big of a place this is that we're on. It seems pretty big. I'm not, definitely not looking at the map mode this time. Ah. Yeah, yeah, you're Poland. Is this your capital? Your capital is like right here. This is your capital. Holy crap. You know what? We are going to build the Great Library, but we are also going to go to Production Focus. Can we do 20 turns of not growing? Or can we compromise here? You know what? I want to go to default focus. And we're going to build a granary. We're going to continue to grow. What Pathion are we going to found? Because this is important. We have a lot of hills. We have a lot of cotton. I think we have the first Pantheon. Um, so God of War, stuff like that. God of War stacks with... um. We building camps. We have one, two, three. Food from camps would, would grow us really well. Four, because we're going to grow there. No, wait, that's not camps. Those are pastures. Okay, I'm wrong. Never mind me. Just ignore me there. Uh, Monument to Gods is pretty good. Uh, religious settlements, good. Wait a minute. Hold one second. Yeah, that's right. That's what I thought. Calendars build plantation. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We're going to be building a lot of plantations. Um, it'll give us early culture. Since we're not, like, rolling in banana, citrus, and wheat resources. Yeah, I think this is what I'm going to do. I mean, technically, we're on a river. But no, we're going to go, uh... Yeah. To give me the culture. All right. Are you sitting on an ancient ruin? You're not. Okay, good. Adopt the policy, of course. That policy being not to fight. 
our barons unless we have to. Most literate people, okay. We're not pulling ahead in this uh, in the attack race, but that's fine. I'm not really that concerned. I mean, we can pick up extra culture over here. I just don't know if I want to. Okay. All right, there's another barbarian encampment. That's fine. I mean, okay. You may grovel on tower, terror if you wish. Nah, I, I think, I think I'm all right without the groveling. Um. Alright, so we met Xanabar. So there's at least three civilizations on this. Sure, we'll go ahead and kill you, because free victory is free victory. You know... I should have gotten the, uh, I should have waited till they got the quest. Um, you don't know where I am, AI, so there's no reason. Uh, yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Yes, yes, you're angry. No one gives a shit. We will withdraw immediately. Here comes a major attack on my city. I think... I really want a religion, which means I'm gonna have to rush Stonehenge. But I need the science. Ugh, and I need the, uh... Can I buy a what? Can I buy something? I can buy a Pathfinder. Excellent. So we're gonna, but here's what we're gonna do. Not going for 16 turns is gonna be hard. Oh my god. All right. I I messed that up. I messed that sequence up. I should have shot first because the city would have got the uh, bonus. Alright, 
Let's go ahead and shoot you here. You see how much stronger you get? And then let's go ahead and heal up. I'm alright though. I'm honestly not that concerned, despite the fact that his help is on the way. This, and this part is the fun part of Origin Barbarians. I almost screwed that up big time. Um, we should be okay. So instead, we're gonna heal. We get our uh, we remember we get combat bonuses for fighting within the city. So this is the thing we want to kill. But we cannot yet, so we're not gonna do anything. So what we're going to do here is we're going to kill you here. And then we're going to move you. And we're going to kill you here. You know what? Let's go ahead and heal you up. All right. We're gonna take this out because it's uh, it's in the way. Policy we are adopting this one, okay. Fibrilism 2. Let's go ahead and heal up. We're not taking we're not taking 20 damage a turn, so we're good.
This is just a game of attrition, which we're going to win. Okay, so what we can do here... Alright, and then we can move you guys to here to sit here and protect them. Hopefully they won't die. I think we'll be okay. Heal up. That's a lot of, uh, I think my best bet might be to heal. This is not ideal to what I want, but we'll live. Alright, let's kill this thing here. And next turn is stone change. Let's build a pasture. We have Stonehenge. Let's go ahead and build the Great Library. Damn, already it got destroyed. Um, we have to gonna have to clear out this uh we're definitely gonna have to clear out this barbarian encampment probably trapping So we're still constructing a pasture. So what we're going to do here is attack and retreat. Kill you here. Or we'll start heading towards this uh I want that worker too. I 
I think we should be okay for now. Why did you put a city there? Uh, you know what? You can have that city. There's nothing good there. Was this like one turn to repair? Two turns to repair? Um. Oh, there's an archer there. I didn't see the archer. This could hurt. And I want to kill that archer. So the prediction algorithm was right. Um, want to go here? So yeah, we're losing gold like crazy, but that's okay. But not both those workers. Even brute Go to plantation. I'll take that worker, thank you. Let's go here. Probably gonna build the wheel. Worker first, then here. Then here. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Um, so the reason I'm building the plantation here instead of on the dies is because we're already sitting there protecting you. And again, fighting in my territory, that's fine. Look at that, 73 to 7. Now, granted, I've got survivalism, which gives me plus, I think I'm at like plus 50% defense or something like that. Libraries are the shrine. All right, good. Choose a free tech. That would be... There is... That would be the National College. I've got to get... How close am I to the... Uh, how close am I to a religion? Still five religions. I'm making six a turn. Where am I making six a turn from? What am I? Oh, right, from um, from Stonehenge. I've got to build the National College, right? 
So here's the thing. Okay, if I if I shift a little and go to default focus, how many? Cause it's like 22 turns. What if we do production but lock? And this is where you gotta you gotta start locking tiles yourself. Okay. So where do we have that? That will let us grow and produce. About there. That's fine. That way we can continue to grow. We can continue to produce. Uh, Alright. We're going to hang tight. Actually... We're good to continue to explore now. We don't have everything explored. We have a lot we haven't explored. Um, let's go ahead and build the dyes because we need them. We're still losing money. By the way, we should pledge to protect the people that like us. It'll make them happier for longer. Just construct a quarry. Let's go ahead and sit here. Sit on the... Aren't we getting, like, culture from these plantations? Or something, I thought. Yeah, right? So there's a culture here. I thought I already improved this. I guess I didn't finish improving it. That's fine. You know what? I'm gonna steal that worker too. Can we? Sorry. Um, come build here, yeah. All right, um, as much as I want to grow, I want to stop losing money as well. Let's start looking at that second city. Where do I want to put it? Here. Alright, 
so we're doing pretty well. It's just going to be... Should we look over here? Maybe another coastal city? Oh, there's a barbarian encampment right there. Then again. Oh. Losing money's bad. Yeah, I know I'm losing gold. I'm aware of that. Not losing as much gold though. Three things. You know what? You can go ahead and automate. I want to sit here for a second. We're going to build that national college. We need markets. Let's get currency done. All right, we got to we got to redo our food stuff. That's a horrible. There we go. That'll be better. Go ahead and build a mine here. We need lots of stuff. We need a caravan. Yeah, let's build a caravan. We don't worry about our gold issues right now. But eventually I'm gonna want a water mill for production. Hallelujah, we have a great prophet. Okay, let's found a religion. I want to call the religion not Protestantism. I want to call it one true faith. There we go. And we know it's true, because true... I probably made that joke before, never mind. Um, Alright, let's select the Founder's Belief, which we're going to do.
plus one gold for every four, four followers of this religion. It is absolutely the best one. And then we're probably going to do shrines and temples. Provide, uh, provide food in each city. I don't know. Of course, monasteries are amazing. Amazing. If I had... I kind of want to use faith to be able to purchase this stuff. Because plus happiness is incredible. Buildings that give me happiness are often very useful. But buildings that give me food... I mean, right now... Right now I need, I need food. Be the world's really good. I'm gonna I'm gonna feed the world. Yeah. You can see already what I made a difference, what a difference that is. So you guys are just going to sit there and shoot and heal, shoot and heal. Alright then. Um, let's go ahead and build mines. I think it's time to build a settler. I just don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I mean... This is not a bad city location over here. It's just not an amazing city location. There's nothing in the desert. Petra's great, but... I can be a high production city. But so could this. I guess I'd probably put it like on here. Over here. Something like that. And I'm okay building farms. Just not on my hills. Okay, caravans. Let's go to Warsaw. Or... Let's go there, actually. Oh, the Hanging Gardens. It's so good. Let's build the Hanging Gardens first. Then I promise you we'll build a settler. Sit on here. Continue to build that mine. Oh, is it already built? It's already built. Let's go here. All 
I really want to build a pasture here. Hi, China. You've run into my Pathfinder, so we're going to go ahead and uh, Sure. Better is bread with a happy heart. Ah, oh, crap. Um. So yeah, what is going to um? What do we need? Probably engineering. Build a farm. Let's go ahead and go here. Here's the thing. If I move off these, either of these to attack, I'm going to lose my... I mean, I've got places I can improve, but there's not a major incentive to improve them. The Great Lighthouse being... S can we kill that? No. Seems like a good time to let's go ahead and get my uh, worker back. Um, no. Uh, it's a good time to call this episode, so that's what we're gonna do. I wanna thank you for watching. See you guys in the next episode. Remember this series is best viewed from the series playlist. Red Hunter out.